What's up guys, this is iTweaks here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you a new tweak called Pro Widgets. Now you can pick this up in Cydia right now for $3 and these are actually pretty cool. You can see in Pro Widgets if we swipe up, this is automatically going to install CC Loader. So you can see down here that we have our widgets down here. So if we tap on one of these, it's gonna automatically launch that widget. So here is a browser that we can use. So just type in, you know, apple.com and it's gonna automatically use this as a browser. Now let's say that we wanted to minimize this. Well, we can do so just by double tapping, just like that, and it's gonna automatically minimize. And we can put this anywhere on our uh, device that we want to. It's gonna stay on top of everything. So you can still multitask in the background. So if you wanna open something up like this, or let's say maybe that you wanted to uh, have a website open right here and then go into your notes and start typing something in right there or in your reminders or anything like that Then you can do so just like this now. Let's say we wanted to open up a few more of these Let's say we wanted to open up the calendar And we're gonna minimize that now. Let's get out of that and open up this and Minimize that and you can see exactly what this is going to do you have all these widgets that you can open up you can interact with you can minimize you can maximize you can move around you can put these anywhere and it's actually pretty cool now I just wanted to show you a preview of this on the iPhone because I think you get the most utility out of this on the iPad so if we go ahead and bring the iPad forward here you can see exactly what this is going to allow you to do. And I'm gonna walk you through the settings as well. Now, one thing to keep in mind, if you do get this on the iPad, CC Loader isn't going to allow you to have all those options like you do in the uh, control center on the iPhone for these widgets. But a really cool thing about this is you can actually activate these widgets using activator gestures. So you can see here, if I swipe down, it's gonna bring up the messages. And obviously it's pretty simple. All you need to do is tap right here, type in your recipient, and then go back and then type your message right here. Now let's go ahead and minimize that and let's bring up another one here. You can see we have our mail, you do it exactly the same way. So we're gonna move this one over here. Now let's say we wanted to open up another one. Here's our browser and we're gonna minimize that as well. Let's bring this one down here. And here's another one. We're gonna put this one over here. Actually, I think it minimizes over here. Let's move it right there. And we're gonna bring up a few more as you can see what all this does I mean you can have a ton of widgets here so you can see exactly what this does and how it works now some of these widgets actually have a few different views so let's say we wanted to open up our uh, events right here and we tapped right here you can see you actually get a different view if we tap the uh, title bar here so if we tap it again you can see that it's going to change to the event so you can enter an event if you want to you can also tap on it to see all your upcoming events which I actually don't have installed right now so if you want to close one of these you can just tap the close it's going to automatically close you can also just double tap on the minimized and it's going to close just like that so again if we open this one up we tap on alarm you can see that you have all your alarms right here so we can manage those if we want to you can also set the alarm just like this so extremely easy then you can save it you can uh, change the repeat I mean you have basically all the options that you would want for an alarm right there so let's just minimize this one for now and we're gonna go into the settings here and I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that we have so if we tap on pro widgets let's go ahead and close some of these just because it kind of takes up some, some real estate there that I want to show you so here we have all your installed widgets so you have the alarm you have browser calendar dictionary mail messages notes reminders and timer now there's obviously going to be some more added to this maybe third-party widgets that people install something cool might be like tweetbot or pandora you know that you can keep up and running on your screen while you're still multitasking in the background now another really cool thing about this is you can actually install widgets via url so if you just tap on this enter the url tap install bam you have another widget now if we tap back here you can go into theme so if you want to change up the theme then you can do so right here so blur is what we have enabled right now you also have a dark blur so it's kind of like a night mode you also have plain and plain blur so let's jump back here and jump into the activation method so here's where you have your activation method so you have your activations in the control center which we actually don't have right now just because we're not on the iPhone you also have the lock screen so there's a browser widget button on the lock screen so if we go to the lock screen real quick that we have a little browser button right there so we can tap on that 
automatically open the browser and you don't even have to unlock your device in order to search now one thing I wish this had was just like iOS 7 where you can type in a search query right there and it's gonna automatically search the internet rather than always having to be a uh, specific website but that's still pretty cool so let's close out of this unlock our device here and you also have notification center uh, widgets right here so if we swipe down on the notification center you have your mail so you can easily open that up you also have your messages so if you want to send a quick message then you can do so by the corners of the notification center you can also do the same thing in the today view if you want to add a calendar event so you can see right here you just tap the little plus automatically pops up a new calendar event widget now down here is where you can set your visible widget so if you wanted to change that you can easily just drag these down and go into hidden widgets therefore they'll be hidden from their respective locations so let's go ahead and move this back up we're gonna go back let's get rid of this dictionary widget and here you have your configuration so basically what do you want your tweaks or your widgets to do once you lock your device do you want it to minimize all your widgets or do you want it to dismiss all of them you can set either one of these right there you also have minimization view size so right now I have them set as large you can make these actually pretty small so you can see if I bring up one let's minimize it and you can see how small these can actually get so that's really nice because you can make it take up a whole lot less workspace so you can just put all your widgets right there and then while you're messing with or multitasking in the background then you can just tap on one of these open it up you know send an email send a message anything you need to do and it's actually pretty nice you also have your effect toggles right here so you have the parallax effect you can toggle that off if you want to you also have disable blur effect if you want to do that and better blur quality and right here we have global preference so this is basically selecting your preferred source when you're creating calendars so you can save it to local or you can save it to iCloud you can also toggle on test mode maybe if you're a developer and you're developing a widget then you can toggle that on and mess with that you also have show welcome screen so it basically gives you a little bit of a walkthrough right when you install the tweak so you can go back to this just by tapping on this and it's going to give you your uh, quick look at pro widgets now it doesn't obviously have landscape mode so I can't show you that very well right here but you can see you can always go back to that and it's going to give you that quick look you can also reset the core settings if you just tap right there as well as respring your device so a really cool tweak if you're a hardcore multitasker all right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. All right, guys, until next time, this is iTweaks with iPhoneHacks.com.